boys gonna be a mad day so 5 31 a.m. and we are heading to the downshift track battle second one that they've hosted first one was awesome back in March so uh, yeah let's go meet up with all the boys and have an awesome day look at that big ass forehead <laughs> boys started rocking up nice to meet you I'm Josh nice to meet you <laughs> What's going on boys? How are we? <laughs> Got the Civic. Oh, that was your Civic. Man, that was a hatchback. Yeah. And the Foz up there is with us as well, yeah? That's um... Must be, I think that's the same one. How's it feel? Good. The car? The car feels yeah, good? Yeah, it feels bad. Okay, so yeah, boys. One week yeah. in fucking retune and engine rebuild. So. so what we do, baby. <laughs> Set up. Oh, oh, super. Up. oh my god, is this Tish Tish? What happened here? Oh, it's a different colored bonnet. Half. Oh, looks fat. Oh my god, GT4. MPS. Warren, gonna send it in the combo. Sam's car. Legacy and Liberty. And the Civic. This Benny Civic? Yeah, I know that catch can. More Tug Tug boys. Boy, there's cars for days. It's definitely gonna be a good day. The track's looking a bit, a bit shit. Tough. Oh my god. finished our first session I only got two laps and I started smoking uh, oil was 
protruding out of my dipstick. <laughs> so I've zip tied it. <laughs> and um, knock some boost out and see how we go. Cleary's power steering reservoir was um, over full, so it was spewing out as well. So he only got three or four laps. But aside from that, we're all doing pretty, pretty well. This thing's doing good. So uh, let's go see some some cars. I think Sprints is on next, or um, or roll racing or something. I'm not too sure. As you can see, Josh is off the track. Hang on, let's focus this a bit. Up there, off the track. Let's go, baby. It is FC, baby. Oh. Let's go. Oh, fucking hell. Let's go, Evo. Which is E85 wide body 86 versus K24 swap EG. That K20 has got legs. Got Mitch, uh, sorry, Sam's 280 and a Turbo 34. Squat, baby! Come on, <laughs> Sam! The man wins for enthusiasm. I love Sam. Toke Toke himself in an S14. This is now the Roll Racing Eliminations. So the previous ones were um, just a warm up, and now if you lose, you're out. Oh, we got the car down. E30 down, boys. It's all right, mate. We did well. This is Cleary's first matchup with the eliminations. 
with the refreshed retune. Oh, he jumped him. Oh, he's coming back. The top end. Oh, I don't think he quite got him. Go, Benny. Come on, little 100 kilowatt nugget. Go, Benny. Oh. Wouldn't be a Honda without some rev back here. Chloe's first matchup with another 86. Hit 60. Lachlan's match up with this Integra I've been looking at all day. Oh, Does he have the top air tour? Uh -oh. <laughs> this is for a match up portion of K24 Civic. It is what it is. Be like that sometimes. I'm here for the chase off. Well, we won a match up, but I think she just decided to come off because everything that's left is really fast. End of track day, yes. track battle number two. All the cars all cooling off and everything. everything's getting packed away. Super Chaja. So yeah, pretty good. I sorted out the GT4. Um, I think it was leaking oil from the valve cover gasket. So, um, but I just ran it on on 10 pounds of boost all day. Um, didn't set fantastic time. I, think I was aiming for 115 and I got 112, so that's good. But um, if it was on full boost, I think I could have done a lot. Nah, not not a lot better because. Um, well, I mean, yeah, big straight, so I probably could have knocked off another second or so. But all things considered, first time with the car, uh, very happy. I'm not too sure how good these tyres are in terms of how they compare to, um, say, something like a NS2R, but they seem to be pretty good. I was, I was happy with that. So, yeah, I think we're going to go get some food. Oh, awesome day. We just stopped off and got some food. I didn't bother filming that because we were just eating like hungry savage cavemen because that was the first time we all had eaten all day. But um, heading home now. Um, actually going to go see what Mitchell's up to. He's repainting his MR2 again. He's touching it up. So let's go say what's up to him real quick and see what we get up to from there. So I said we were going to go uh, see what Mitchell was doing. And I'll work on the MR2, but instead we're going to uh, bash a pulsar. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Aww! <laughs> Step up! You got it! What are you aiming for? The window. You got no, this. Don't, no, don't break glass. Just make a mess. Door. Through the back door. Or front door. You I did like, it. I was thinking like... <laughs> Boink. <laughs> that was shit. <laughs> Buying negative offset wheels is for losers. This is how you get flush treatment, boys. Oh, epic. It bounced! Well, that's dangerous. The rest hasn't been, but this is dangerous. Ooh. First thing he's penetrated in his life. Less glass. Mm. 
That missed. <laughs> Get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get it again. No, we already did that part. I'm done now. Well done. How was your day? I think, I think that answered it. <laughs> oh, here we are back home now. Oh, what a day. So it was a super fun day with everybody. Um, it was really good to feel how this car went on the track. Uh, a bit disappointing that I had issues with oil leaking from somewhere all day. Originally I thought it was the uh, dipstick, which is why I've got the zip tie and shit on it now, but um, like the, you can even just see all the oil that's sort of on the, so, I don't know, valve cover gasket maybe. I'll take all this off and have a look. But um, yeah, regardless, I still had fun. Ran the, ran the car on 10 pounds of boost all day just because I thought um, it was over boosting and pressurizing the sump and sending oil out of the dipstick. That's what I originally thought. So I turned the boost all the way down. But the all wheel drive felt awesome. Uh, so much different to to um, Togue Selly on the same track. I can just feed it into a corner and just plant my foot and there was never a point where I didn't feel like I was in control of the car even when it was um, beginning to understeer. Oh sorry, it, it barely understeered honestly. It did a couple times when I probably got into it a bit too soon before the tires were warmed up but when the tires were warmed up it was it was really good uh, even when it was oversteering is what I wanted to say it I could still feel that like my I could put in steering inputs and um, and throttle and the car would just pull straight and just go where I wanted it to go so I'm really looking forward to uh, developing my skills I suppose in this car and developing the car as well so I took it in dead stock I didn't bother well, I should say, I took it in pretty much exactly how I got it. Didn't bother changing brake pads, brake rotors, brake lines, suspension, nothing. The way I got it is the way I took it. I wanted to feel it exactly like this. Um, shit, I was running less than stock boost as well. I think stock boost peaks at 12 pounds, I think. Oh, I was seeing 10 pounds by the, by the second session. Uh, and I got two laps in on the first session and then took all the boost out of it and just ran it with safe boost still was just pissing oil out from somewhere over here so take the intercooler off and have a look but um and chloe did awesome as well she ran a 111 in a stock 86 around the clubman layout is what it was which is a pretty damn good time um she ran faster than me i ran a 112 in this with with boost and all-wheel drive she still walked my ass but um yeah, man, very much looking forward to the next one. But uh, potential rebuild for this on the card soon. Once Braps is done, I'll probably do the exact same um, engine rebuild kit and turbo upgrade and all that. And um, if I can get 300 kilowatts out of Braps being front wheel drive, I should be able to see uh, 260, 270, maybe a little bit more actually out of this because the gearbox can take it. Um, with the same setup, so I'll see what the restriction is with Braps once I get it tuned on the 85 and then um, Rectify whatever that restriction is Whether it's injectors or turbo or pump or whatever But uh, yeah, really fun day. We all got to drive our cars home, which is the main main thing um, So yeah, awesome day at QR and looking forward to the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, Yeah, next time I'll try and get some in-car footage as well with a GoPro or something like that because that would be really sick there's just not a fantastic place to mount it is all because I don't have a sunroof um, so I'm gonna have to mount it to my windshield or my passenger side um, window or something and have it pointing forward but I'll sort that out but uh, yeah hopefully this video was wasn't um, too boring I didn't get an amazing amount of footage but yeah still an awesome day so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.